Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Yes, welcome back to my channel. Yes, guys, I am so happy to be doing this again. I am so happy with um, your feedback on my last video. I know it wasn't perfect, but y'all showed me love like 30 subscribers, guys. I am grateful. I am so grateful. I didn't even think I reached 10 subscribers, honestly. But I'm really, really grateful. Thank you guys for showing me love. And I'm here with another video to show you guys how I achieved this look and how I laid up this beauty. Yes, this beauty. So, y'all, and all the products I'll be using on this face, I will definitely leave them on the description box. So you should not worry, worry not, because I got you, because I know you all got me, right? Right. Do not forget to subscribe, guys. Do not forget to leave your comments, because they're important to me. I, I, like, I need to hear you guys telling me my mistakes, where I should improve. That's important, you know? And don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to share the video with your friends to see this work. Yes, without wasting any time my black roses let's get down to this the the yo let's get to the video ah. hi guys so we'll be laying a lace front while we need a gel got to be gel and that got to be spray and a toothbrush and a bottle of water not really we don't really need that but i'll show you that because i use it to remove my wee at night when i'm about to sleep so what i'm doing now i'm just pushing back my own hairline using the got to be gel glue so i can lay the lace run properly <laughs> Now I'm showing you all my lace frontal, which is Mongolian kinky hair curl in 22 inches. So I'm fitting the lace just to check goody way, just to see where I want it to sit before head dam or on my, you know, hairline. Also, if it if it fits properly in where I'm supposed to spray the gel or the gel spray, whatever you call it. So yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Um, so right now I'm taking the got to be gel and spraying right on top of my hairline as you all can see And yeah, I think I do have to warn you guys the spray has a very strong smell So yeah. Um, you need a wet towel close by so you can remove any excessive product Just as I am doing um, so, also need a hair dryer, and hair dryer must be on call. If you do not have a hair dryer, at least have a fan. Trust me, it works. So my glue is a bit taken now, um, however we're going to take the spray again and 
apply it right on top of that first application and remember to have your towel close by ladies um, yeah, and you're also going to be drying this a bit just to have that consistency so um what i'm doing now i'm just pushing um pushing forward my lace and laying it exactly where i have sprayed the glue and i'm taking um, a small a small brush and just making sure it sticks and also using my hair dryer to you know secure the wig so that's what you basically do ladies until you can also feel that it will get quite clean and it's intact okay okay applying the glue right there because it has dried up then I'll take my hair dryer and stick it down so it's not really a train smash ladies anything here is very much fixable okay so basically you need patience when you're doing this you need a lot of patience so we have another crisis right a front off, but hey we are fixing it same way we fix the other one you need to head dry in the blue again so yes that's how you lay your lace um, I will be laying edges when I'm done with my makeup so you will be taking a dip now or a robe and wrap it around your hair especially where you laid your lace front so it can sit there and be secured enough I hope that makes it yeah so we will be starting with my makeup now. So I am brushing up my natural eyebrows just to give it a shape. Then I'll be taking an angled brush with my Promade from MAC which is in shade Deep, uh, deep Dark and fill, filling my natural eyebrows with it. Remember this is an angled brush and I'm just following my natural shape eyebrows is um me yo um as you can see I have already concealed the other side of my eyebrow now we are concealing the other side the concealer I'm using is an NC50 it's a concealer from MAC no it's not NC50 it's in shade NC45 yes it's my foundation that's NC50 I'm taking a fan brush and just blending the concealer to my skin so basically just blend 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 until you can't blend no more 
I'm joking but yeah just blend the concealer so that you don't have any harsh lines when you have um when you have put your foundation now I am applying the same concealer which is in shade NC45 just on top of my eyelids um, this step I normally do it when I'm gonna put an eyeshadow so I am putting an eyeshadow today so there's nothing special I'm doing it's the same fan brush and I'm just blending the concealer um, so that when I put uh, eyeshadow it doesn't crease so I'll be just blending until my hands hurt oh I can't blend anymore <laughs> Well, I am setting my concealer now with my setting powder from NYX in shade medium so that I can work better with my eyeshadow. And so let's get to the eyeshadow part. Well, I am using my MAC eyeshadow palette. Um, it's called It's Designer. I'm trying to think of what I'll be doing. However, I have decided to do something bold, something, yeah, a bit bold and different. So, yes. Keep watching. I'll be using three shades which is a pink, an orange, and a yellow. Hope it works. Really, really hope it works. <laughs> so I have been using the yellow as my transition color, or you can say base color. Um, however, I feel like the yellow on this palette is not pigmented enough. So I swatched um, or switched no swatches to test I actually switched the palette so now I'm trying out my Zulu palette from Julius because um, I do have a, a yellow shade in there so basically what I'm doing now I'm comparing the shades and as you all can see the Zulu palette has a bit of a mustard shade and the MAC palette has a bit of like a yellow chrome yellow or yellow shade so I've decided to use the shade of the Zulu palette just to see how it's going to work out and surprisingly it is working out just fine as y'all can see. So I am just building up the color because like I said I'm doing something bold. Now I'm putting a bit of an orange just on my inner corners or crease whatever so yeah as you can see the colors are just coming so well together and remember ladies the aim is to make sure your colors blend they blend beautifully together so you can see the master there you can also see the orange in there so yeah just keep building the color until you're satisfied you know and now we're gonna blend obviously the two colors which is the orange and the mustard together and we are keep working on that eye so yes now we are just putting the pink just on my crease I didn't cut any crease I didn't yeah but I'm just building up the pink I'm not really good at explaining things but it, you guys can see what I'm doing I'm just building up the color perfectly beautifully and you can see how beautiful this work or this art I'm trying to create here is so you yeah, just keep, keep building that um, color or colors and keep blending them together so they can look beautiful so I have dyed both my eyes as you can see and it's beautiful.
it's beautiful i love it it's i didn't think it's gonna come out so beautiful but i love it and now i'm just removing the duke because i need to put some foundation on my face and work on my face now so yes i'll be using um a primer from mac just to prime my face before i put my foundation it's important to prime your face before you put your foundation just to close any dilated pores that you might have okay now i'm using the foundation which is nc50 from mac yes so basically i just put the foundation using my hands and yeah and i'll start using a brush um that brush is not a foundation brush that's actually a powder brush but i love how it blends my makeup actually my foundation on my skin so don't feel obliged to use a brush just use whatever works for you if it's a beauty blender your hands or foundation brush then use what works for you but i love using my fan brush i mean i'm saying fan brush now my powder brush so yes and now i will be putting some liquid liner just to do a wing liner um i know it's very hard to do a wing liner for other people however i think i will be doing a video on a detailed like a specific video, a specific video on how to do a wing liner but the trick with the wing liner you can mess up just like when you're doing your eyebrows but then the concealer will help you clean and shape your wing liner the way you want it to be okay so yeah, that's what i'm doing here and actually i did my wing liner so perfectly that i don't even have to clean it see now i'll be doing the other eye and yes moving forward with y'all so y'all can see i already did the other eye as well and i did it perfectly so i really don't have to clean all i'm doing now i'm just putting some concealer which is in shade fawn it's a concealer from la girl so yes i'll be putting that concealer and blending it's using my beauty blender so yes keep watching ladies be sure to blend your concealer properly because you don't want to look <laughs> like a clown you know you must blend it properly properly i would advise you to have a damp beauty blender you know i think it's easy to work with when it's damp than when it's actually a dry beauty blender okay so what you do now you actually have to set your um concealer using um your setting powder the setting powder i used which is in shade medium and it's a setting powder from nyx okay so yeah we are just setting up my concealer So now my ladies, I will be showing you a trick on how to actually contour or contour without using any contour concealer. You just need a brown shade or a dark shade, but preferably a brown shade to contour um, your face without using the concealer. So that's what I'm actually doing here. Normally I do this when I'm lazy or when I'm late. It works wonders, trust me ladies. As you all can see, I'm actually just putting, I've just taken a brown shade on my eyeshadow palette and I am currently doing it now. So yes, I hope you find it useful and I hope you love it. So you take a clean brush and just, you know, clean up your setting powder. Um, and then you take your uh, foundation powder and you set up or yeah actually you set up the rest of your face using that powder okay so yes yes yes, yes. 
you can see me coming through you can see where this is going that is a just a black eyeliner that i am using nothing special just a black eyeliner now i am taking a gold color just to put on my uh what do you call this place bone what eyebrow bone or oh, whatever yeah i think so yeah you're just putting that gold color there just to you know give some life to your eyes and now it's time to highlight that's like my favorite 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 thing to do and buying this product is not a waste of time that is a mac product it's called a cheeky bronze uh, skin finish so yes ladies do not be scared to blind your enemies with that highlighter okay just put as much as you want i mean it's yours afterwards okay so yes yes um so now that we are done i'm just setting up my face using the mac fix spray so yes i feel so refreshed ladies i mean you can see my makeup waking up yes I've already put some lashes on and now I'm going to be putting my Smashbox Liquid Lipstick in shade Always On. That is a very beautiful shade. It's like a deep dark or oh, a deep brown. Yes, it's a deep brown shade. And yes, I'll be creating ombre lips. Hence, I'm lining around my lips using a dark shade, which is a brown shade and now i'll be using this nyx um lipley 15 that's a shade it's called lipley 15. yeah i'll be using it to put um to blend in together with the darker shade so yes i hope you guys are loving the look just as much as i am loving this look because so i hope you'll see me coming through because fancy i am coming through hey now i will untie my hair and start um laying my edges like i promised i use a brush a toothbrush and they got to be gel so what you basically need to do you need to make sure that your baby or oh, what do you call them your your lace front is pre-plucked right and secondly you have cut your baby hair me is yeah you can see that i have like very short hair on my front yes so it's easier for you to lay edges when you have done that okay so yeah that's what i'm just doing here i'm just laying the edges for y'all So I am loosening up my hair. Yo, you can see that hair is a mess, hey? Okay, so that's a water bottle with a conditioner inside. You can use any conditioner of your choice to spray, to mix you with water and spray your curls just to, you know, wake them up. So, yeah, I am just spraying that all over my hair before i can actually put any product actually show you guys the product i use on my cup do you expect shedding it's curly hair after all so you should worry about shedding on straight hair there's a lot of shedding with the curly hair you know so do not be frightened when you see shedding minimal shedding of course you know so yes Watch me as I 
Fix Hair. Um, so now I am moving to the next step. I am doing a side part. I love side parts. I actually feel like side parts suit me better than middle parts, but I do middle part at times. So that is the product, guys. It's Mark Anthony product. You get it uh, from Discom. It's 169 Rand and yeah, it's strictly for curls. They have masks, they have um, leave ins. So yeah, strictly for curls. Remember that. Hey. And you must make sure you dampen your hair before putting the product. But yeah, basically that product is everything. It unfreezes your hair. It adds moisture to your hair. Like it just does wonders. Trust me, you're going to love this product. I have recommended this product to um, a lot of people, especially my clients. So yes. Yes. So yes, guys, this is the look. For today thank you for coming and watching my videos again um thank you to my subscribers guys thank you so much 30 subscribers that's a lot i didn't even expect that and i'm thankful thank you for viewing to those who viewed as well the comments i am trying to improve here so yeah thank you guys for being here with me watching me as i lay this wig do this face and do not forget to subscribe do not forget to like do not forget to leave your comments what you want to see thank you guys for watching i love you so much Mwah! thank you i can never be thankful right now. i'm always thankful always thankful bye thank you <laughs>